Hey kids, tired of your Game Boy games not working as they should? And you keep blowing into the cartridges, let alone making them to work only to make things worse than usual? Well, here's a solution that will help guarantee to make your precious Game Boy games work like new. And it may work just for you. Check it out. How's it going YouTube? OSC83 here with another video of how to clean your Game Boy cartridges and make them work like new. Now, the things that you need in order, in order to clean these cartridges are a Game Boy game, which, for example, I have my copy of F1 Race, which will be my test subject. A bottle of Brasso. It is very important that you need this. You can find these at your local Walmart or anywhere. You also need Q-tips or cotton swabs, or however you want to prefer them to be. Most people would prefer, would prefer them as Q-tips, like myself. And lastly, you also need a flashlight. The reason why for this is because I use the flashlight. To use the flashlight as, as to look, look underneath the Game Boy cartridges to see how shiny, how clean the chip is, the chip is and how, and show you the difference, which I'll show you right now. The other night I actually did a test myself to see if this method actually works with Game Boy cartridges like I did with Tetris here. And I got the result that I, I checked, I got, and it worked just fine. As you can see, I don't know if the camera, how well the camera can pick this up. As you can see, my copy of Tetris is pretty much clean, which I did the test myself. And on the other side, my copy of F1 Race is completely dirty, filled with oxidation and all that grime from those many years of playing, many years of blowing into the cartridge. Well, that's about all about. Well, that's all about to change. What you want to do first is grab yourself a Q-tip and pretty and notice how it's already been squished. If they're if they're originally pup, if they're originally at their normal size, what you want to do is take both your your index finger and your thumb and pretty much squish it down as as flat as possible. The reason reason why is because you want them to be you want them to be flat in order to get inside get inside the the Game Boy cartridges, and so that way you can clean them sideways, back and forth, back and forth. And make, it'll make things a little bit easier. And so it'll save you the hassle of taking, of completely taking apart the Game Boy cartridges from the screw right here alone. Now you can start applying a tiny drip of Brasso onto, onto the Q-tip and start cleaning and start cleaning away on the in the cartridge. Ugh. See all see all this oxidation here? This is what happens for all those years of blowing into the cartridge and as well as playing the game. Cleaning away. Now what you want to do is check the, the inside with the flashlight. As you can see, it's getting a little bit clean. And if you now, it's, as you can see, it's getting a little bit clean right here. Not as dirty as before. If you believe it's completely clean, you take the clean, clean tip of the of the Q-tip and start clean and start wipe, wipe them away the same method as before. Once you do that, then the game should be clean. Should be clean and good as new. All right, now the now the only way to test out my newly clean Game Boy game is to use the GameCube. Not only that, it is equipped with the Game Boy Player. It can it allows you to play Game Boy games as well as Game Boy Color games and Game Boy Advance games. And let's not forget. The Game Boy Player startup disc. Never leave home without it. Hey, what do you know? It actually works. Now let's give it a test mode. Thank you. 
down to the final lap. Huzzah! Made it to the final goal. Oh, first place! Well, there you have it. The game actually works, and I got the, this is the result that I got. And it should work for you too. So that's that's about that. I hope you guys learned from everything from all this. So, so of course, thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. So, if you'll, now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and continue to play more of F1 Race. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace out. Signing out.